So this is my girl Lexi. We're gonna do a little bit of a haircut today. We fucked up and got her shampoo first. We totally forgot about the before. So it's a pretty good haircut. Uh, we're gonna keep most of her length. We're really gonna shatter the layers and this is gonna be more of a layering haircut anyway. So you don't really need to see a big before. It's not gonna be a monster change. We're just gonna change that layering pattern to make it make sense. I'm under the weather, so forgive my voice. Um, although it sounds pretty damn sexy. We're gonna get started. Let's go. Let's go. The whole point of this is to kind of get the hair going in different directions and shattering into each other, like really getting uh, the movement to be kind of chaotic. Um, basically, I'm just C-curving, just taking these and just really like adding a lot of texture to this in different directions. Sometimes from the sides, sometimes from the tops. I'm always a little bit more light and gingerly towards the edges because I want to keep as much of that strength in the corner as possible. I don't want to thin that out so it gets gnarly. Um, Trying to take off about an inch of length here. So I'm just visualizing that length. And we're just going to work up the head in horizontal sections. You guys see what I'm doing? I'm like trying to keep this in like sections so the curl patterns are together. And then I'm just kind of elevating slightly for softness and really visualizing my curl pattern. You guys see how we can like manipulate the weight of that, those ends right off the bat, we're gonna get like a really shattered feel. So I'm trying to like work with my section each time and stay above that. And so what happens is I have to visually go over and create a new link each time as, our, as we layer up the head because otherwise it'll just all be one link. And that line will end up being heavy at the exterior line instead of soft and movable like you want. Still here, I'm still going down to about the length to keep that strength towards the front corner. So in my mind, I'm kind of working an inversion, a little shorter towards the center, a little longer towards the length right now. As we get past this section, I won't be thinking about that as much. So, whole thing's cut at natural fall. So I'm just gonna visually work the line around as I come through. And I'm just really kind of brought the front or the sides back to make sure that my line stayed balanced and strong. So like I said, I don't want to mess up that forward graduation and take away too much of that corner that would just kind of round this shape, which is not what I want to do. So any of this stuff that's just visually not part of the link, it's going in and putting a little more of that C curvature in there just to get a lot of weight out and let it really shatter. She's got pretty wavy hair, so it's gonna be a pretty fun haircut for her. At an elevated level, what you're really talking about is making sure patterns work for them, like the layering patterns work for them. But most importantly, what we can do, whereas most other hairdressers are not like used to yet, but manipulating the density of the length in the exterior line, like being able to add elevation there to soften that and really manipulate it. Because I think that's the real difference between most good haircuts and bad haircuts is you're talking about like, yeah, they put a layering pattern in that like manipulated that density, but they didn't really work enough with the exterior 
uh, line, like all of the all of the hair that a natural fall would fall to the exterior line. They didn't really manipulate that well. They don't have like a strong manipulation of that. So what we're talking about is like really being able to manipulate the softness of that line visually as much as we need to. So adding as much separation and and brokenness as we want, and then also too keeping as much structure as we possibly can. Because it's one thing to go in and just add a bunch of texture, but if you don't have structure, then it just looks like chewed on. I'm not gonna chew on this. So as I get into the front, and it's less density, I gotta be careful. I can't really go at it like I did in that back layer. Because this is length. Yes. So one of the things, like a big conflict area for me of this haircut is, I don't ever really want to come in from the front. I'll come on, on top, come in from the back or the side, but like really not coming in from the front because you don't want that to round in any way, shape, or form. So it's just continuing that weight forward, and then we can attack it later when we really like pay attention to the foreground. That's some good fucking information right there. I hope you got that on tape. I really knocked it out of the park with that one. So I can feel this. It's really strange. I've done this for so long that I can feel the density in the blade, which is something I really can't do with a razor. So that's like a big difference. And by density, you mean uh, how much how much hair is like still is coming there? Up. Yeah, because I can feel it just for like how how open or closed my blade is, my clip, my shears are in front of So what I like to do is come in and on the very surface of this, kind of make sure that it's really opening that layering pattern up so we get it collapsed underneath and it's not just sitting long underneath. So I'm really just visually cutting the rest of the way and where I want connections or where I want separation, I'm just putting it in. I'll probably, she's growing her bangs out, so I'm probably just gonna take a little weight out here to like allow these to grow out without taking any length. Purely visual, trying to keep from being too perfect. Stay really loose and just get like a really nice beautiful shape in there for her. It's a little heavy coming down into the, on the exterior, so I'll just thin this down a little bit right here. I'm just kind of working on that S pattern so when it opens it'll curl and kick and do what I want it to do. Same thing with the bangs on the side. I'm only elevating, I'm not elevating for softness here, I'm elevating to stay away from her eyeballs. Pretty, uh, pretty necessary technique. <laughs> Finished product. Um, she 
She's looking pretty good, so I'm pretty happy about it. She's got great hair. The curl's really popping now. It really brought out her natural texture. Um, I'm in love with the shape of it. Collapsed ends. We're growing the, her bangs down into a veil at the moment, so I really took a lot of weight out of that. Really kind of opened up the layering pattern and got it to like shatter into each other. This is my progression. Uh, of kind of a shattered, shattered C curvature, um, round clavicle length. I hope you guys like it. I'm gonna spin her around. Go the other way now. Just kidding. All right.